What is an ice core? It's just a cylinder of ice that you have drilled into a glacier or an ice sheet or an ice cap and removed from its happy home in that frozen place and brought to a lab to look at. Some of the things that we commonly use ice cores to reconstruct our temperature. We look at all sorts of marine aerosols, so sea salts, things that come from the ocean and get kicked up into the atmosphere, but then get precipitated out on glaciers and ice sheets, and they can tell us something about ocean conditions in the past or about sea ice in the past. The examples I just gave you are from the liquid chemistry. We can also utilize the insoluble particles, the little specks of you know, dust Tephra from volcanoes. Volcanic layers are very important to us because we can fingerprint the tephras, the bits of ash that fall and get preserved in these ice cores, and they give us an exact age. So they give us this tie point in our chronology that we can really rely on. Uh, we know the exact age mm. that that depth is because it's this eruption that happened on this day from this location. There's also, of course, the air bubbles that are trapped in the ice. The old hockey stick figure is one that I think a lot of people have seen at this point that shows CO2 since, you know, the Industrial Revolution and compared over very long time periods, hundreds of thousands of years to past levels of CO2 in the atmosphere. That is from an ice core.